Hello and welcome to an EverQuest test server patch notes update. And today we got a doozy. This is uh, a week before Lorian's song comes out. And uh, so let's get into this. So test server has been updated with uh, Lorian's song. Uh, so this is November 18th. I'm recording this on November 29th because I am always a day late. And a dollar short. Uh, so, welcome to EverQuest, Lorian's song, the 30th expansion for EverQuest. A door appears in the plane of tranquility, and heroes of Norath walk through and find a warm and cozy looking building. Light from the windows illuminates a clearing in a forest, music and voices, as well as a tantalizing smell of cooking meat and mead drift on the air. The inn's presence invites adventurers to rest and revel after exhausting and dangerous exploits. Welcome to the realm of heroes. The place where the greatest heroes go when their adventures are over. Can you discover what the mystery lies underneath the facade of the comfort and revelry? All right, reach a new maximum level of 125. Learn new spells, combat abilities, and alternate abilities. Find new items and learn new trade skill recipes. Explore seven new zones. Participate in raids and quests. Complete new achievements. Swap to another class while retaining your name, inventory, and much more with alternate personas. See details below. Note, alternate persona system can cause problems <laughs> with saving your character. Please do not use it at this time. Please do not use it at this time. Please do not use it at this time. To enter, uh, to start, enter uh, to, into the Lorian Inn through the new door in Plane of Tranquility. All right, we got a, we got one AA change. Paladin, Blessing of Light, increased the min-max damage bonus granted to the Divine Might spell line rank at 26 to 775% and 825% at rank 27, 800% and 850%. Also increased the damage granted by Blunted Strikes at 27 to 90%. That sounds crazy. Uh, let me see if I can get one. Raid loot. Alright. AA. So what is that one called? Blessing of Light. Alright. So we go here. Paladin. Let's just call it Blessing of Light. There we go. Alright. So. Blessing of Light. All max rank. So this is the highest rank you can get right now. It stopped in... <laughs> It stopped in uh, COV at 115. So, uh, that is rank. What rank is this? 27. All right. So, 775 is 27 is 800. Okay, so that goes to 850%. Okay, increase spell damage by 850%. Divine Might spells. Okay. Also, blunted strike. So, looks like it's a damage increase. Uh, blunted. All right, what? <laughs> Let's see here. All tabs, uh, strikes. Take off strikes. All right, I don't know. I don't know where blunted strike is. I don't remember that one at all, but uh, yeah, okay. So increased it to from twenty seven to ninety percent. So I'm assuming these are paladin damage increase buffs. That is fantastic, as we play a paladin. All right, miscellaneous alternate personas. Note the alternate persona system can cause problems when with saving your character. Please do not use it at this time. Please do not use it at this time. Swap to another class while retaining your name, inventory, and much more with alternate personas. An alternate persona gives your character the opportunity to play through as you are a different class from within the same character. 
to create a persona, use the persona tab from the inventory window. Details can be found on the tip window accessible by clicking the on the list of persona classes. A speculative fix for client crashes, having multiple corpses in a zone along with a living player. Fixed a bug where players would be stuck with an invalid expedition invitation if the expedition was canceled before they responded to the invitation. Corrected an issue where progressive disciplines such as epileptic rage would not work from the discipline command when given the ability name. For example, uh, disc rage would not work. All right. I had that same ability with uh, Diconic Form. <laughs> I had that issue. <laughs> I couldn't get it to work until I hotkeyed the right ability. Uh, reduced pet combat lag due to spell casting and weapon procs. All right. Interesting. Increased the level cap to 125 and separated other chat filter into multiple channels on color of the message. All right, uh, the animations window, the inventory window and the inventory window have been updated. The inventory window personas has been added. So there we go. Um, not a whole lot going on here, right? There's a lot that's being changed. You'd have to look at the, the beta forms and stuff to see what, you know, what is being changed and, you know, what's being added. Uh, I do know there is two group missions. There's, uh, I think, eight raids. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, new gear. Uh, it uses the same gear system as uh, Night of Shadows. So you have to, instead of looting like an ore, you have to loot a item to craft it. So uh, I think in Night of Shadows, it's like you will get a, a cape clasp, right? And then you take that and you turn that into the cape. Uh, and I think the like chest plate is like lining or a robe or something like that. And you just, you have to get those items to craft it into the final. So that'll be, uh, that'll be fun, uh, to see, but there, that is the patch notes for, uh, the test server as of right now on 1128, uh, well, 1129, <laughs> 2023. Thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.